Hi there, I'm Eric with My Boring Channel, and I just got home from work. Wife and kids are gone, and I thought, what a great opportunity to put together a video real quick. I wonder how long it would take me to make a free WordPress website. Okay, let's go to WordPress.com right up here and then click on create website. We're gonna do this fast, folks. Okay, let's choose arts and entertainment. Then let's choose photography. Then what do we want our homepage to look like? Well, how about a grid of my latest posts? That looks cool. Oh, Cubic, that looks like a neat uh, photography uh, theme. Pictorio, that looks kinda cool. Pictorio or Cubic? Let's go ahead and try Cubic. Okay, pick. And then I'm going to find a domain here. Let's try boring website. Boringwebsite.wordpress.com is not taken. Okay, I'm going to select that. And then over here on the left, I'm going to select the free plan. Make sure you write this password down because you'll need it to log in. Now I'm going to click create my account. And guess what? I almost have a WordPress website already. It's amazing how fast this goes and how easy it really is. Okay, now one thing I have to be sure to do is go back to my Gmail and click on the email and then click on confirm now. That's important. You got to do it. Uh, one thing that I'm going to point out is there's a little bit of a shortcut. You can go to your website's name, boringwebsite.wordpress.com, and then at the end you can type in a forward slash and wp-admin. And if you do that, it will take you to a dashboard that I like a lot better uh, that we can create this site in really fast. Okay, here we are. Let's uh, uh, let's go ahead and hide this screen right here, and we can go here to look at our site. So let's actually let's just open a new tab with our site. It's boringwebsite.wordpress.com. Here's what the site looks like right now. It's got uh, these six images on the front, and I'm going to put my own images there. Oh look, we got a cool we got cool sharing icons down here as well. And then here's our menu. Oh, I don't really like that, but okay, we're just making a quick website. Home, About, and Contact. We're going to make those ours here in a moment. So X that out. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard, which I have open in this tab. Remember, I got there by typing in slash WP admin at the end here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Posts. And these are the posts that are showing up on that home page. I'm going to change these and put my own images in these posts. So first blog post, I'm going to click Edit right underneath it. Call this what you want. I'm going to call it... Uh, Oh, whatever, my awesome kid. And then I'm gonna say, my kid is so awesome. Isn't he handsome? Then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. And in the featured image spot here, I'm gonna put my own image, not this one. I want my own. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this featured image by clicking remove featured image. Then I'm gonna click set featured image right here. And I'm gonna click select files. And this is going to browse my computer. I'm going to go to my desktop. I choose this picture of my kid right here. And then I'm going to click on Set Featured Image. Now, anytime you put images in a WordPress website or any website, you should put alt text in there. So, uh, kid in catcher's clothes or something like that. It should be descriptive. Um, it's for accessibility purposes. And then click Set Featured Image. I've created my first post. Now in this post, I actually want uh, like an image gallery because this is supposed to be a photography website. So I'm going to click on add media right here. And then I'm going to click on create gallery up here. And then I'm going to click on upload files. I'm going to click on select files again. And now I'm going to pick a few different images of my kid playing baseball. So how about uh, that one, that one. I'm holding down the control button in order to select multiple pictures. And that one and then I'm gonna click open and then it's gonna upload all those pictures don't forget to add alt text for all your images I'm not gonna do that right now but don't forget to do it um, and then I'm gonna click create a new gallery boom now under type here I want a cool um, what do I want how about do I want square tiles no I'm gonna choose tiled mosaic uh, that's pretty cool tiled mosaic insert gallery now update boom Let's go back to the home page now and see what we've created. I'm going to click on this tab here. I'm going to click refresh up here. 
And now, okay, there's my first uh, post. Boom, my awesome kid. If I click on it, I will see my first blog post. There's my featured image. There's my text that I typed in there. And here is my cool little gallery. Now, if I click on one of these pictures, it opens up a full screen slideshow and I can click through the pictures and see my awesome kid. Click the X here to get out of it. Okay, now click here to go back home. Here's my home page. And now I can just follow the same procedure for all six of these images. So I have to create six blog posts and six galleries, and then I'll have a very cool looking home page here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, one thing I should mention as I'm creating these posts, there are six posts I'm creating, is that we should always categorize our posts. We shouldn't put them in the default uncategorized category. So every time we make a new post, we should put it in a category. So I'm gonna click on add new category here. And I'm going to call this one uh, gymnastics. Then I will click add new category. And then I will untick uncategorized because now I am categorizing this post in my gymnastics category. Awesome. Also, I'd like to show sharing buttons. but um, So I'm going to click show sharing buttons. But um, in order to make that work, I'm going to have to set up my social media accounts. I'm going to do that in a few minutes. I'm going to finish these posts first. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created all these posts. Now, if you want to edit the kind of uh, image gallery you have, just click on the pictures, click on the little pencil right here, and then change tile to mosaic to something else. I would recommend playing around with these different types of galleries and see what they look like. They're all pretty awesome. And then when you're done, click update. I've finished with all six blog posts. Now, if you want to create new blog posts, just go over to posts on the left here and click add new and make a new one. Now, let's go to this tab and look at my site. I'm going to refresh. Okay, here's my site so far. I got my kid, my daughter, my graduates, downtown, black and white, uh, gymnastics, pretty cool. And that's what my site looks like so far. I can click on any of these and it will take me to that blog post. And then I can scroll down to the gallery. I can click on the picture and scroll through the pictures. Pretty awesome, I've done all this in about 10 minutes so far. Okay, so I lied earlier when I said you had to set up your social media accounts for the sharing buttons to work. The sharing buttons are actually when people go to your blog posts, they will go click on your post and they'll scroll down and they'll see the sharing buttons down here and then they can click on those and share to those social media sites. Those will be their own, like their own Twitter account. They would share it on their own Twitter account or their own Facebook page. Okay, so you may see this message here. Occasionally, some of your visitors may see an advertisement here. You can hide these ads completely by upgrading to one of our paid plans. Now, I'm showing you how to do a free very fast build of a WordPress website. Right now I don't really care about ads because I want a free website. I'm going to dismiss this. Often you may not see any ads at all on your WordPress website. Once in a while you may see some ads. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the About page and the Contact Us page. So let's click on About here and then we can click on Edit right here or we can go back to where we were here and go to Pages and then all pages, and then the about page, and then edit here. So it doesn't matter. There, there are two different editors for WordPress.com. Uh, they're kind of going away from this one, but I like it better. So I'm going to click edit here, and I'm going to say, Hi there, this is Eric with my boring channel. Please take a few minutes to check out all my awesome WordPress tutorials. Okay, now if I want to make a link, I hover over the words I want to make a link. And then I click this button right here that says insert edit link. And then I type in the URL to my boring channel. And then I click this button right here, apply. Now I have a link in my post and I can click update and I have now created an about us page. Awesome. If you want, you can also set a featured image on your page and you can also click show sharing buttons and things like that. But why would you wanna show sharing buttons on an about us page? So let's go back to all pages and since there's already a contact page created, we'll just edit it. So let's click on edit for the contact page. And you can see all this junk in here. That's a contact form, folks. That's a contact form. Uh, so we can either leave it the way it is, or we can edit it. Let's go ahead and look at how it looks right now. Actually, let's get rid of it. I'm gonna show you how to make one. Go poof, like that. So you create a new page that's blank. And then you click add contact form right here. Boom. Now here is what your contact form will have in it. That's good enough for me. I'll click add this form to my post, but you can click here for email notifications and you can change the email address 
and you can also have the subject line be what you want it to be. And you can go back to the form builder here and you can add new fields if you would like. So I'm gonna add this form to my post, there it is. Now I'm gonna click update and now I'm gonna go check out my website. Okay, here I go to this tab over here and here I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna click on this right here to go to my homepage. Okay, here's my cool homepage with all my featured images. Here's my menu. Here's my about page that I created that has my info on it. Here's my contact page right here with my cool contact form that people can fill out and write to me. And there you go, folks. I created a website here in about 10, 15 minutes that's completely 100% free. That looks way better than posting your pictures on Facebook or anywhere like that. And you've also now learned how to use WordPress which is the most powerful and popular website building software on the face of the planet used by pretty much everybody. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to customize just a few things very easily. Go ahead and click on my site here and then on customize right here. Okay, once you're here, you can change a lot of things. Actually, let's click here to go to our homepage. Okay, so here we are on our homepage. Here we can change the site title, tagline, and logo. So click here. Instead of calling it boring website, let's call it uh, my boring photos, a much more engaging name. Tagline, photos with my 70D. And they're not all with my 70D, but uh, I'm just gonna put that for now. And then you can also set a logo here by clicking add logo, and then clicking uh, a logo from your media library here, or you can upload files from your computer here, like we did when we uploaded files for our blog posts. I'm not gonna do that right now though. Now, click save and publish, and now that you've saved and published, you now have a cool site title and tagline. Let's go ahead and go back here. You can customize other things. You can customize your colors and your backgrounds. Some of these things will cost money, but if you're doing it for free, if it tells you that it's gonna cost money and you don't wanna pay, don't do it. Go back here. You can change the fonts. You can look in here and see what fonts they offer you. I don't like those, you know, but go, go ahead and go through these fonts and see if you find something that you like. You can adjust your menus here. Uh, if you look down at the bottom here, you see my menus have all this junk down here. I don't want all that junk down there because I don't have links to all that stuff. So my social menu, I can click on that here. So I can remove these by clicking on this and then clicking remove. And I don't want dribble in there, I'm gonna remove it. LinkedIn, I could put my own LinkedIn uh, account there. So now that will link to my own LinkedIn account. And Instagram, I could put my own, but I'm gonna remove it because I don't feel like it right now. Foursquare, I don't even know what that is. Remove. Vimeo, I know what that is, but I don't want it. Remove. So now that you've deleted the ones you don't want or edited the ones you do want, you can add items here and you can go to custom links here and put in whatever link you want and then click add to menu. It's very easy. Okay, so you can go back. Okay, you can also edit your primary menu by clicking here. You can change these things up here. There are other things you can adjust in here too. Your widgets, you can set whether to have a static front page or not. You can look at your different theme options. You can see how your uh, website will appear on different devices, like this would be an iPad. This would be a mobile phone. See, still looks pretty cool because WordPress automatically makes your sites look awesome on mobile devices, unlike some other free website builders that I won't mention. So that's it. That's how you make an awesome WordPress photography website in about 10 or 15 minutes, 100% free. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at what we got. Here's your homepage. Here are all your featured images. Click on whichever one you want to see that post. There's your featured image on the top of the post right there. You can click on these and look at your slideshows. Awesome. You can scroll down a little bit further and see your sharing buttons here. Folks can leave comments here on your site if they want to. You can click here to go to the next uh, blog post. Very awesome. Um, you can click here to see your menu. Here's your home page. Here's your about us page. And here's your contact page. There you go, folks. You just built a website in about 15 minutes. That's awesome and professional. Looks 10,000 times better than Facebook or anything like that. And now you are a website builder. You are amazing.